okay hello everyone this is victor momo from excel moments and in this video i want to show how to compute the number of working days between two dates yeah like oh victor there are a lot of videos on that already yes i know but this comes with a twist number of working days between two dates especially when your public holidays or your holidays fall on weekends okay the practice in my country is when the holidays fall on the weekend then they are rolled over so if the holidays happen to fall Saturday, Sunday, then it means Monday and Tuesday would be the holidays. So how do you do that with network days? So let's start, first of all, with a simple network days function. If I want to get the number of working days between this start date and this end date, I like to use network days international. So I'm just going to use network days international. This is going to be my start date and this is going to be my end date. Okay, press control enter. So I have 23 working days right in the month of December. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor in my holidays, right? So I expand this. Um, I skip the weekends. I use the default. And then holidays, I feed it in with my, you know, holiday list. And I still get 23. Okay, so number of working days, 23. With the public holidays, 23. What does that tell you? The holidays are on the weekends. And because they're on the weekends, Excel is going to exclude them. You can check that by just using a weekday function. So weekday, I typically like to use the second argument, the return type as two, especially when I want to test for weekends, because that way, Saturday is day six, Sunday is day seven. So it's easier to just say greater than equals to six. This is a weekend, as opposed to when, you know, Saturday is seven and Sunday is one. So working out this function, you know, becomes a little involving. So I do this, I press enter, then I go down. And you can see that, okay, we have... Uh, four holidays falling on the weekend and we have one, um, you know, which is not on the weekend, but it's outside of our range here. So how do you fix that? Very simple. You're just going to make a modification to, you know, the network days function. So as it is now, the network days function already has the holiday argument, but it's going to ignore um, the weekend, right? So what you need to further do is you need to subtract the number of, you know, holidays that are weekends, you know, from this 23 okay so and when you're subtracting you must subtract the holidays that fall within you know your start and your end date so this is what i'm going to do i have my 23 and i'm going to do a minus i'm going to put those three conditions and what are the three conditions one it must be greater than equals to the start date two it must be less than equals to the end date and three it must be a weekend so once i can get the count for that I take it off my number of working days and I should be fine. So I'm going to use the sum product for that. So I'm going to use sum product. My first condition is I test, you know, the holidays. Are they greater than or equal to my start date? That's the first thing. Multiplied by my second condition, my holidays, are they less than or equal to my end date? What you are simply testing for here is that, you know, these holidays fall within your start and end date. Third, I want to be sure that they are weekends, okay? Those are the only ones I want to subtract. So I'm going to use the same weekday function. I select all my dates again, right? I could use a named range for this to make it easier, of course. You know, two and say greater than equals to six. So those are the three conditions to ensure that it's within this bracket. So you are testing that it's greater than equals to the start date, less than equal to the end date, and it's also a weekend. You close with another bracket, control enter, and now you have 19, okay? Because you have four dates that are what? Public holidays and fall within that bracket. You can see that it has omitted, you know, uh, 1st of January 21, okay? So even if this was a weekend, for example, it will still get omitted because the condition of falling within these dates will not be satisfied. So it's Network Days International in the simplest form, you know, but with a little twist. I love to see you know, your alternatives to solving this. With a formula, there are some other ways you can do it, you know, having a modified holiday list, you know, which then moves every, um, you know, weekend to a weekday. You know, you, you can do quite some funky things with this, but um, this is how I've chosen to do it in this video. So I hope you like it. If you do, please hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel, Excel Moments. One word, Excel Moments. Okay, for now, I'm out.